Morning everyone, welcome to our harvest assembly at Derby Grammar School. It's a bit different, but we're still going to say thank you to God. So would you close your eyes as I say our harvest prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the gift of harvest. We thank you for all that we have. Help us to be grateful and help us to remember to share. And we thank you for our friends at the YMCA who we can help. Amen. George, who is our head boy, is going to come and read our harvest poem. As summer turns to autumn, it's harvest time again. Crops need picking quickly before the winter rain. Grandpa picks his garden, picks tomatoes and broad beans. We eat them for our dinner with all the other greens. Tractors in the fields, working all the day, collecting every cabbage and baling up the hay. Berries in the hedgerows, apples on the tree, Grandma puts them in a pie, it's tasty for our tea. Harvest time is lots of work, but can be made fun too. We thank our God for the crops and plants that will feed me and you. George, thank you. Don't go away because you're going to do something for me in a minute that you know nothing about. Now, normally in school, all these tins and things that you've brought in will be right across the stage. We can't do that this year. But if you just turn your heads and look how much Derby Grammar School has brought in to our friends at the YMCA. And I think you older ones know that many of the people at the YMCA are just a bit older than you, but some of them don't have as much as you have. Some of them don't have much food or very little money. So all the things that we bring in makes a difference to other people. But we have to make a decision to help other people. You're standing there beautifully. Now behind here, I have my heart. I know it's not Valentine's yet, but here is my heart. We've all got a heart. And sometimes my heart is not full of nice things. But I have got something in here. I have got a pack of playing cards. Do you like playing games? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I used to be able to do magic tricks, but the only trick I can do now is this game here. And it's called... Are you ready? Yeah. It's called 52 card pickup. Have you played that before? No. Are you ready? Yeah. You don't have to pick them up. Okay. But what an unfair game that is, isn't it? I have just thrown those cards in the air and poor old George, you'd have to pick them all up. And it's actually quite hard to pick a card up. Now, there's nothing left except a king in my heart and I close it up. Now, you can stay there for a moment. There is something else in here. I'm gonna open it up and you can see if you can see it. Other than the elastic band, there is something else in my heart. I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna open it up again. Anybody have any idea what might be in the heart? Go on. Love, love? well, I can't see any love in there. Any idea? I'm going to give you a clue. Go on. Air. air. Well done. In my heart is air. Close it, open it, but you can't see it. Every single one of us this morning when we woke up, we did not think, you can hold that a minute, George. Yeah, did not think, I'm going to breathe. Where's my air coming from? You just took it for granted. But if we didn't have air, we'd die. If we didn't have food, we would die. Now, I just did that game for George and it was a bit unfair. Pick them all up, George. It's unfair that some people don't have food. It's unfair that some people do not have as much as you and I have. And when you look around this fantastic school, when you look at your teachers, I know sometimes they can be a bit annoying, but they're absolutely brilliant teachers. When you have your dinner today, it's an amazing dinner. When we look at our new building over there, fantastic new building. I want us today to have thankful hearts 
But not only that, sometimes in my heart, I can be a really, really grumpy person. And a few years ago, in one of the churches I worked in, somebody gave me loads and loads and loads of tins, but they had no labels on. And what they said was, we think they're baked bean tins. And on this particular occasion, a homeless man came to my church. It was in the centre of Derby. And he said, I'm hungry. I was busy doing something. So I went and gave him a tin like this. Nothing else. I just gave him a tin. It wasn't baked beans. It turned out to be dog food. But he was so hungry, he ate it because I met him a bit later outside church. And I realised that I wasn't bothered about that person. I was busy doing something else. I didn't check. Sometimes all of us need to have a little think about how we're kind to each other in school, how we share. We've done it today with Harvest. And in a moment, we're gonna see some slides about another amazing charity that we support out in Tanzania, because what this school does for children in Tanzania, in Africa, is amazing. But thank you, and in a moment, there's gonna be a big lorry coming round, and we're gonna do some filming outside of all this going into the lorry, and the lady from the YMCA is gonna say thank you outside. But I am so proud to be your school chaplain, because this is a brilliant, brilliant school. Have a kind heart, be nice to each other, and let us all be thankful this harvest. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to do, after three, a really loud Amen. One, two, three. Amen. And now we're going to do a really loud thank you, teachers, after three. One, two, three. Thank you, teachers. Brilliant. Stay safe and have a wonderful half term. Good morning, boys. Um, I've been asked to talk to you this morning about our Tanzania project that Derby Grammar School have been um, with for about 10 years now. We go over to Tanzania each year with a group of six formers and we do good work out there, trying to improve the education of children out there who really have very little. Uh, we've seen this morning about the harvest and how generous you have been and over the years Derby Grammar School has been really generous with our Tanzania project. Uh, you can see on the slide that I've got now, we've, got, we've built classrooms, we've built five classrooms, we've built toilet blocks, we've provided water for the pupils at the school and for their families, we've provided electricity to the school and we've also produced um, or built a disabled classroom, classroom for disabled children. And that classroom is really unusual in Tanzania because usually children with special needs are ignored. So it was very important that we went across there, built this classroom so that special needs children can come in and do some, um, get their education. We teach small groups. You'll see the photo on the right shows our boys teaching little groups of three and four people. That's a really different experience in Tanzania because our class sizes at the school are about 150 in a class. Sometimes we have as many children in the classroom in Tanzania being taught as we have in our whole school, all together being taught together. So you can imagine how many, how, what that feels like. You're not an individual, you're one of 150 people. So our students go out there and they teach small groups so that we can um, give them an education and actually uh, talk to them as individuals for the first time. Unfortunately, last year we were unable to go to Tanzania because of COVID. So our students were unable to go out there. And unfortunately, it's very sad to say, we've also canceled the trip for, 2000, uh, for 2021. Uh, that's because at this stage, we don't know what the situation will be next summer. But we're gonna continue to support our friends in Tanzania. We have a particular connection with an orphanage out there. And at this orphanage, they've had four months of being isolated. And we had to, um, we, we got in touch with them and said, what can we do to help? And we sent money across 
to help them get food for the orphans and also to provide some masks and gloves so that if they had to leave the orphanage for any reason, they could be protected. Okay, so money has gone from Derby Grammar School this year to help at that orphanage. We will continue to try and help our friends in Tanzania. Even though we're this far away, um, it's really important that we continue the message that we're going to help them. And so we're doing all sorts of things. We're hoping to have a non-uniform day where we will raise some more money for Tanzania. We will have, hopefully at the end of this year, another whole school sponsored run where we can all um, contribute to the fund. And some of you, I'm sure, have been this week buying bags of sweets. The money from these bags of sweets for Halloween are also going towards our Tanzania fund. So thank you very much if you've already bought um, a bag to take home. Okay. Um, please continue to give your support. If we, if we do anything in school where we are going to um, say it's for the Tanzania project, please, please continue your generosity. Uh, can I also ask that if anyone's got any ideas of how we can fundraise, like this idea, um, if anyone's got any ideas about how we could fundraise for Tanzania, um, in the coming months while COVID is, is happening and while we can't fundraise by getting big groups in the hall, then please come and see me and we'll have a chat about whether we can do anything with that. Okay, thank you for listening, boys. Just before our prayer, I thank Mrs Charnock for telling us about our wonderful project and support in Tanzania. Would you bow your heads as I pray? Dear Jesus, again, we thank you for all that we have. We ask for your blessing on our friends in Tanzania, that you will keep them safe, and we pray for our friends at the YMCA. Please, Lord, look after all people in need. Amen. Amen. And so, a blessing for all of us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, remain with you, and all those whom you love, now and always. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to you, the parents, because without your support, we could not have all this produce going to the YMCA. So on behalf of the school, thank you. I thank also Year 9, who have given up a few moments of their lessons to help carry everything to the YMCA van outside. And it's quite amazing and humbling knowing that we have helped and are going to help over the next few months many young people who have so very little we're so incredibly thankful for everything that um derby grammar has done for us over the years and now every single harvest festival is absolutely incredible um, our young people will greatly benefit from the food parcels uh, that we provide with, to them so thank you so much to everybody that's been involved and uh, we're really really grateful i hope Whatever you're doing, you do keep safe. Have a great half term and thank you. And just finally, I want to acknowledge the hard work of the staff, but certainly Miss Sellers, because I couldn't manage to make this happen without her. Take care. Bye-bye.